Now I'm going to check again to see if the custard is the same, the right height, and I think they are. So I'm going to go ahead now and put what we call cusp bridges in, and those are in blue. Each one of your cusps has two cusp bridges. So I'm going to put a cusp ridge here, and I'm going to make notice that I'm going all the way over to the point or the line angle of the adjacent two. Remember, the, each cusp has two cusps, not uh, two cusp ridges. So when you go to do a molar, you're going to have four cusps on some teeth, and you're going to have to have each, each cusp ridge on that. Now the reason that I'm going all the way over to the, to the adjacent teeth is because I'm going to carve what they call embrasures. I'm also going to put a marginal ridge in here and a marginal ridge in here. That's in blue also. Okay. Now I'm going to take and open up these embrasures. Now there's a rule in waxing and whenever you're doing restorative work that marginal ridges should be the same height as adjacent teeth. So what I'm going to do to do that is to take uh, the number seven wax spatula and put part of it on the adjacent tooth and part of it on the wax and just go back and forth. Make it so that they're the same height. I'm still working on my embrasures. Embrasures are the little V-shaped areas between the teeth that form the interproximal, help to form the interproximal contact. You like to have you make sure that you work in a neat area so if you get a lot of little pieces of wax you've got to clean it up. I'm still working on my embrasures. I'm gonna make sure that they go through the contour right. And you see when I'm using the, the tooth as a guide to make sure that my contour is correct. On my buckle and on my lingua.
Now I'm going to check to see if my cusps are too long. I think they are, so I have to cut this down a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm looking down with one eye down this down to see if this cusp or this cusp or this cusp are the same height. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, basically we've got the outline of the of the crown already done. Okay, so we basically have it just like this one over here. 